Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. Well, last time we arrived at this room. Hmm. Some strange contraption, huh? Now, I spent hours trying to figure this out, and I'm trying to find where the hint is, actually. Is it right here? Wait in the position directly across from the four eyes. Um... What does that mean, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Well, whatever. It wants you to stand on this one. I don't know why, but that's what it wants you to do. That's the solution. I don't know what the four eyes refers to. I, I guess stand across from that? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Well, let's just go into the next room and get a stone dragon idol. Very important that you get that. And let's warp back. And let's fight a new enemy. Um, hopefully it's not a Hydra, because Hydras are tough. Okay, it's not a Hydra. Hydras have 2800 HP. They're tough. Tough as nails. They're weak to fire and freeze, um, so I could probably one-shot them, but I remember them dealing a lot of damage. Ropers are weak to air, earth... No, they absorb multiple elements. They're actually um, immune to a lot of elements, so... For these guys, I actually want to bring in... I meant to take Brad out, but... Shows what I know. And I want Loka in here. I'm gonna have Loka cast. Um. Right. Forgot, they weak the light. I need 10. Or the Rigdobite. Um, right, medium. With the sh um, artifact command. Alright, let's go ahead and use light. Right, okay. And. Get the 1. And a normal attack. Yeah, Gat level 3 works with either of the two level 3 abilities. Um, I mean, yeah, it increases your damage, but it takes 75 FP, so you'll never see me use it. If you want to see it, play the game for yourself. It's almost entirely useless. All of the level 3 and level 4 abilities are useless, except for Excess. They just... It's just never worth losing that much FP, period. Unless, again, you're using Assess. And even sometimes for Assess, it's not worth it. Alright, we got a Sunbird hat. Better piece of equipment for Ashley. I think it's one of his best headgears in the game. I don't think it's his best one, but it's up there. Huh. What do we do here? Well. This, yeah, this one took me a long time to figure out as well. Well, not a long time. I think I figured that one out pretty easily. But then we have the problem with the staircase. That's an easy fix, though. They give you two blocks for a reason. Go ahead, move this over. Move that up. There we go. That'll lower that barrier. You think they'd be able to jump over it, but whatever. Let's keep going. Yeah, the chest is in here. That's what I thought. We need Puka. Hyper Gear, that's a better piece of equipment for. Look, I think. No. For Tim. Or maybe not. Who's it for? Brad. Wait, why does Brad get that? Eh, whatever. I just thought Hyper more accurately defined, um... Loka.
Right. There's a doorway around here somewhere. What am I supposed to do here? Right. Here we go. <laughs> That's the second time that happened. You know, I just started thinking maybe the artifact ability goes by your physical attack instead of your magic, in which case it would be useless for Ashley. Huh. Cause I'm, just, I'm still trying to debate why that did so little damage with Loka. Still, it's still a useful ability for hitting light and dark with Loka, though. Power of the Lost Soul's Heart. Huh. Must be another idol. Ah, oh, son of a... Okay. Where's the plaque? These are some of the hardest puzzles in the game. The path is higher than the evil eye. It severs everything. I have no idea how you're supposed to figure this out, but what you're supposed to do is go up the stairs And you see how this statue is taller than the rest? And... Jump down. And jump down again. Anything else? Then shoot a fireball. Right. Right. Yeah. Whoa, that didn't work. Must have been the wrong one. Ah, uh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, gotta shoot that thing. Right, right. You gotta shoot it at the taller, um... Because you have to be on either side, and then you have to shoot the taller of the of the four statues with a fireball. It's really annoying. I don't know how you're sp expected to figure that out from the horribly translated cruel, uh, yeah, cruel clue. But well, there you go. Now we can exit north. I don't remember how you're supposed to get through that room normally. I think it has to do with Brad. I forget. Whatever, let's save. Moving. Keep on trucking along, I guess. Whoa! Okay. Right, right. those. Unfortunately, to get that chest, I think we have to do this puzzle twice. Yeah, bastard move, I know. Actually, can I get that? No, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, you do have to do it twice. Ah, uh, so annoying. Get a mirror feather. And, of course, now it's gonna block me, right? So then I have to hit this to reset it. Um, the mirror feather is a better piece of headgear for Tim, I believe. So let's give that to him. No, it must be for Loco. No, I was just doing the wrong thing. Yeah, it's for Tim. I knew it was for Tim. What the hell? Losing it. Let's go on and hit these again. Crap. You didn't need to hit that one again, actually. What's wrong with you, you... Blue-haired person? I, I, I don't know. Alright, let's hit this switch. Now we can just make our way up, and we'll make it through this room, and there's one other really nasty puzzle we have to solve, if I remember right. You don't actually have to get any of those statues, but they're helpful later in the game. Uh, right. This switch is, I think, rusty or something, so you have to jump on it from above. I think if you try to step on it normally, it says 
you can't it won't press or something I, I forget that's a real bastard move um okay so this is where I'll leave it off and I hope you enjoyed this episode I'll see you next time have a great day